Hi everyone, welcome back to Betsy Hackle Beauty and today I'm going to show you how to check if your cosmetics have expired with one handy dandy website. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, wow, this is actually so helpful. Now it doesn't have every single cosmetic line that you could think of, but it does have enough and I think it's really um, a easy nifty way for you to go through and see if like that old eyeshadow palette foundation that you have, mascara even, um, is far enough past the expiration date that you probably should throw it out and get a new one. Now also as a sidebar, I just got back from doing wedding makeup this morning so I'm looking a little rough, but I was like, you know what, let's give the people what they want and this is a video that I've been really excited to make for a while now. Okay, so the website that you're gonna wanna go to is called checkcosmetic.net. So it's gonna look like this when you pull it up. So it's gonna have a drop down for whatever um, makeup brand you want and then it's gonna have a spot where you put in the batch code. So I was also laughing because the first one up there is Adidas and I was like, what the hell does Adidas do makeup? I don't know. So to start off, we are gonna look and see if my MAC blush is still good to use or not. So what I'm doing is I am just scrolling through the list. There's a huge list on here and I'm just seeing if they have MAC, where that is. So I scrolled down until I found MAC Cosmetics. I pressed done. And then I'm going in to enter in the batch code. So where to find the batch code is you're going to look on the back of your makeup container and it's going to be some like weird string of letters and numbers. Now this one is pretty hard to see, but I think it is A39. So the reason I'm saying that is if you look at it really close, you can see that kind of stamped in number right there. I think that is it. So we're gonna try that. And honestly, a lot of this is just trial and error looking for random numbers and codes on the back. So I'm gonna put in A39, calculate. Okay, so you can see it was manufactured in March of 2019 as a shelf life of 36 months. And this one is valid to be used for another 17 months. So that's really cool to know because sometimes, you know, you have a blush sitting around your drawer and you just have no idea, like, is this still good to use or not? Okay, the next one I'm going to look up is the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. So this is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. I would wear this out all the time. Now, you can probably already tell just from me, like, opening it that it's looking a little janky here. It's not really, I mean, it still goes on pretty smooth but just it looks really gross coming out of here. Um, so we're gonna check to see how expired this is. If you look on this one, you'll see this little um, makeup symbol over there. I don't know if you can see that. And it says 12 months on it. So that means this is good for 12 months. So now I have it typed in. I found the batch code. The batch code is on the bottom. It's kind of those random numbers. So we are gonna do, it's S15A. Calculate. <laughs> so literally all it says is date of manufacture 2015. So this is five years old. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little shook because I mean it went on kind of nice, but I could just tell from opening this. It smells just like, it smells like chemicals. It's a little nasty. Well, this is going in the trash now that I know that it is five years old and it only was good for 12 months. So, you know, the more you know. Now we're gonna look at this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. So this is something I know I've had for a long time because it just looks gross and beat up. Um, So this is one of their single eyeshadows and I was really excited to get this at the time. It's like this really pretty moonstone color. Honestly, if you pop it out, that's the actual color right there. Mine just looks a little nasty, but like on your fingers and stuff, it's just more of like a, a general shimmer. It's, it's not really a dark eyeshadow. So this one doesn't seem to have that little um, canister where it has the numbers in the middle, like 12M or so forth for how many months it's good for. But I can see right here, stamped in the side, what I believe to be is the batch code. So again, I went on Check Cosmetic. So we have Bobbi Brown up and selected. We are gonna type in that it's B38. So hopefully this is it. So we're calculating. Manufacturer was March 2018. It has a 36 month shelf life and it telling me that it will be good for the next five months. So that was kind of interesting. I honestly thought this one was expired. So I'm pretty surprised to see that. However, when I first got it, it never really had that great of payoff to begin with. So 
Meh, you win some, you lose some. But that's interesting to see that something that I definitely thought was gonna be expired actually isn't. And then this, which I thought was good to go, it's like five years old. Okay, this one should be funny. So this is a YSL mascara. And I was really excited to buy this at the time because it's like this really cool like indigo blue sparkle. So you take it out. It smells like cleaning supplies. Interesting. Um, so I have not worn this in a hot second. So we're going to check to see if it's still good or not. I really feel like I should be like taking a shot and guessing like, can we do it? Can we not? That would actually be a really fun drinking game going through my entire makeup collection. Okay. So for this one, I found it on Check Cosmetic, and you can see on the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a string of numbers right there. So I believe that to be the batch code. So we're gonna type that in. It is 40 R100. Y'all, I am continually surprised by this. Honestly, if I was betting shots, I would be drunk by now. So <laughs> the date of manufacture was January 2018, it again has a 36 month shelf life and it's good for the next three months. So honestly, if I wanted to be a snazzy tonight going out, even though there's really nowhere to go to cause COVID, so don't, don't be going out people. Anywho, if I was going out, this could be a nice fun topper with lashes. So good to know that I can still use that cause it was expensive. Let's try one of my old foundations from YSL. So this is their All Hours Foundation. I live and breathe this foundation. It is my absolute favorite. So this is one from when I was tan, because we're not tan anymore. So this is their um, BR30, which is Cool Almond. So it says, well this one, you know, YSL doing the Lord's work. I didn't even realize this. It says right on the bottom when it expires. So you can see it expires 420. I don't understand why more makeup companies don't just do that. So simple, so easy. I don't even have to look this up. The one that I have now that I use expires in 2023. Honestly, had no idea foundations last that long. I thought they were like a one year type situation. So that's really cool, honestly. Props to you, YSL. This one should be fun too. So I have the Stilla Cosmetics. It is their liquid eyeshadow. So this is color Wanderlust. Honestly, not a huge fan of these because I feel like you put them on, they look really pretty and then they dry down kind of crusty and just don't have that same beautiful golden effect. I feel like Stella is really easy to find batch codes, which is very nice. So you just look at the bottom right there and you can see that black number. So that is the batch code. So it is 618B. I typed it all in and I can see now that it has the date of manufacture was 2018. So if we look then at the back of this where I said, a lot of times it's really hard to see right here, but right there is that um, little like makeup canister and it says 12 months. So this would have gone bad just sometime in 2019. So we are gonna throw her out seeing as we are almost at 2021. Let's see what she's even like. I mean, it's hard though, because if you're not looking things up, like that goes on really nice and smooth doesn't really have a smell so like I would kind of think it's okay to use but it's definitely not so that's why I would really suggest looking at Check Cosmetic. Um, .net it's not foolproof it's not going to have every single brand you want on there like I couldn't find Caudalie on there um, I couldn't find Kylie Cosmetics because I randomly have a lot of Kylie Cosmetics stuff um, and then they have Adidas so really I don't know what they're going for here but it is a good just like base to go in and look and just see if there's something that you know maybe you're starting to break out it's a little questionable go on check because you don't want to be putting expired products on your skin because we try so hard to take good care of our skin skincare is just very in right now so i would suggest always checking expiration dates another thing you can do is you can honestly when you buy it write the date on because as i said you'll see that little canister right there it'll say the amount of months so just count from then where you get it and I know people will argue, well, what about the data manufacturer versus this and that and so forth? Just estimate. I just, if it's something that, let's say I bought this in 2017 and I said nine months and it's now 2019, am I gonna still use this? Probably not. So I would just say use your best judgment, but checkcosmetic.net is a really fun way to just kind of go through your makeup and check and see, ooh, is this good, is this not? So I hope you guys found this informative and found out something new. 
um, about makeup. And if you like this video and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and give me a like. Thanks.